Hello everybody, this is Sam Spade with another tutorial. This tutorial is going to be pretty short and when I do shorter tutorials like this, I'll try to put out the next tutorial faster. But it makes more sense to me to cover one type of button in a tutorial rather than to try to put two to three types of buttons into it just to make it longer. So in this tutorial, we'll be talking about how to make buttons that toggle through two or more positions. I don't even have any other slides, let's switch over to Game Maker Studio 2. The first thing we'll make is the toggle parent. We'll call it toggle parent. We need to be able to interact with it. So we're gonna make it a child of one of our interact parents. We'll just use the tap button parent. Here we go. We're going to want some additional variables. We will have position, which we will want to be an integer and max positions which will also be an integer. We'll default it to two. And then we're gonna come up here, we're gonna say event user one. Remember that event user one is what fires if the button is interacted with and is active. In event user one, we're simply going to increase position which will look like this. Position plus one mod max positions. So what this will do is it will increase the position. And if the position is equal to or greater, which isn't possible here, but if it were equal to or greater than max positions, it would wrap it back around. So we will just get 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. And if we had three positions, it would go 0, 1, 2, 0, 1, 2, 0, 1, 2, every time you interacted with it. And then we will say call event user 2. And event user 2 will be the event that the actual button, the toggles, will use to do something. So we'll actually add that up here, increase position, and call event 2 toggle parent. If we come over here, we can see increased position and in call event two toggle parent. There we go. All of this is set up. Let's create our actual toggle button, which we'll just call object toggle button. We will make our toggle button a child of toggle parent. It needs a sprite and I'm actually going to make this sprite here. Let's duplicate it. Let's rename it Sprite Toggle Button. We're gonna make it very simple. We're simply going to duplicate it. And actually, let's do it on this first image here. We'll have the first image be gray. Now we can come over to the Toggle Button, give it that Sprite, and our actual user event two will be Change Sprite. And we'll simply say, image index equals position. And I already set the default speed to zero, so it's not going to animate. Now we can simply put this in our room and run it. Here we go. We can see that these buttons still work. And we can see that this button also works and we can toggle between it has all of the sounds and everything that we've already set up and everything works now if we wanted to we could actually come into the button and we could set up the max positions to be higher and it would also work except that we don't have enough image indexes for it to show up and of course if you were doing this in an actual project where you would put in event user two, would not just be the image change, but some code to actually do something based upon that new position. Let's come over here and look at the updated inheritance tree. You can see that I've actually moved it so that all these buttons are really children of tap button parent. And that now we have toggle parent over here, also a child of tap button parent with its own child. And I can zoom in on it. Note that it gets position and max position variables and it's event user one, which we know then calls event user two. 
and we could put as many children down here of toggle parent as we want. All right, we'll be back next time to talk about sliders. As always, you can find a link to the source code below. And that's it. Thanks for watching.